Lothar N. Dolich was born on October 23, 1887, in Wiener Neustadt into a military family of Croatian roots, hence the surname, Radulic. He studied law and political science at universities in Vienna and Lausanne, and in 1907 was admitted to the Theresian Military Academy and commissioned as an officer into the Austro-Hungarian Army in 1910. He served during World War I from 1914 to 1918. Returning to the University of Vienna after the war, Rendulic obtained his doctorate in law in 1920. He joined the newly formed Austrian Armed Forces and in 1932 joined the banned Austrian Nazi Party. From 1934, Rendulic served as a military attaché to France and the United Kingdom. In 1936 he was put on the temporary inactive list because of his membership in the Nazi Party. He was called up for service with the German army in 1938, after the annexation of Austria to Germany. Throughout the war, he commanded the 14th Infantry Division from June 23 to October 10, 1940, the 52nd Infantry Division from 1940 to 1942, and the 35th Corps from 1942 to 1943, with which he participated in the Battle of Kursk. From 1943 to 1944, Rendulic commanded the 2nd Panzer Army in Yugoslavia. Early in 1944, Adolf Hitler ordered him to devise a plan to capture Yugoslav partisan leader Josip Broz Tito, in the raid on Druva in western Bosnia on May 25, 1944, German paratroopers stormed the partisan headquarters looking for Tito but failed to capture him, suffering heavy casualties in the process. From June 1944, Rendulic commanded the 20th Mountain Army, along with all German troops stationed in Finland and Norway. Following the war, Rendulic was accused of ordering the destruction of the Finnish town of Rovaniemi in October 1944, seemingly as an act of revenge against the Finns for making a separate peace with the Soviet Union. In early 1945, Rendulic served as the commander-in-chief of Army Group Call and cut off in the Call and Pocket in northwestern, Latvia, Army Group North in northern Germany, and Army Group Ostmark, in Austria and Czechoslovakia. On Monday May 7, 1945, following the Soviet Prague offensive, Lothar N. Dulic surrendered Army Group Ostmark to the 71st Infantry Division of the U.S. Army in Austria. After his surrender, he was arrested and tried in the hostages trial at Nuremberg in 1947, because of his involvement in their Wehrmacht reprisals against civilians in Yugoslavia and the scorched earth policy in Lapland. On February 19, 1948, he was found guilty of war crimes and sentenced to 20 years imprisonment, although he was cleared of charges around the scorching of Lapland. This sentence was later reduced to 10 years and on February 1, 1951, he was released from prison in Landsberg am in Bavaria. After his release, he worked as an author and was involved in the local politics of Svalsnamaters A, in the Salzkammergut region of Austria. He died in the Fram municipality in Austria, on January 17, 1971, aged 80.